Jason, nice to see you. Nice to see you. And uh, thank you for allowing us into your brewery. No, you're uh, welcome. It's, it's not a huge journey from where we were sitting before. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Tap from the brewery. Yeah, absolutely. Just tell us, first of all, give us a little bit about your background, Jason. Um, I'm originally from the States. Right. Um, I've been in the UK about two years. Uh, my wife's originally from the UK. All right. Just why? I'm here. This way. Yeah. She dragged you in. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, we're happy to be back. Um, and I've been brewing commercially for about four and a half, five years. Brilliant. Um, yeah. So you were the perfect person for them to bring on board. Yes. And this whole project obviously appealed to you. In, in it did. It did. I mean, yeah. the project really um, spoke to me because it's about uh, giving back and helping. Yeah. And. Um, I think if everyone does that, the world's a better place. Yeah. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Jason, uh, Matt, I, if I may have a quick word with you, Matt, I'd like to, you're part of the team, but yes. in, in what sort of role do you play at the moment? Um, or are you loosely, loosely defined, <laughs> I'm a accounts and operations manager, yes. um, but I think that kind of amounts to whatever needs doing on the day, <laughs> which at the moment, as we're just setting up, obviously, there's quite a lot of challenges to try and overcome, and I think that's... Uh, that's been my role. And that presumably has been great, very exciting. I mean, you're, yeah. it's all coming to fruition after all this. It is. Work. I mean, it's kind of it's it's just getting there. It's just yeah. getting to that point where it starts to actually look like it's, you know, it's it's got legs and it's really going to go somewhere. And that's yeah, it's a really exciting place to be, especially having been quite so actively involved in getting it to this stage. It yeah. kind of really feels like it's feels like it's. It ours. is a massively satisfying business, isn't it? Setting up a, a, a thing from scratch and particularly with such an honourable aim. And it, yeah, and you absolutely. Must be very pleased absolutely. It. Well, it's very exciting. Now, Jason, I wonder if you'd do me a favour because yes. I'd love, I know very little about the brewing process and it okay. would be fun just to go through it if you could. Yeah. If you can tell me where. Yeah. I'm gonna... Well, so the brewing process starts with our grain. Right. Right. So we take our grain and uh, our base malt, yeah. which makes up uh, 80 to 100% of the brew. Right. And then we mix it with our specialty malts. Um, and this is what gives the beer color and some of the flavor. Okay. Um, and all that gets mixed into the mash tun. Right. And uh, so the mash tun is where we mix our hot water, liquor, we call it in the brewing industry, mm -hmm. um, with our grain. Right. And then we let it steep for a set amount of time, depending on the type of beer uh, that we want to make. Right. We get our hot liquor yep. from our hot liquor tank, yep. which is this tank here. And it's essentially a large kettle. Right. Uh, yep. We set the temperature um, and we heat it to specific degree, depending on, again, the beer that we want to make, the style. So the temperature uh, makes a difference to the, to the beer itself? Yes. So, yeah, I see. Okay, yes. Right. Um, once the mash is complete, after the set amount of time, usually 60 minutes, right. um, we run it through uh, the underback mm -hmm. um, and then into the copper, right. which is where we add our hops and we bring it to a boil. And we boil it, um, again, depending on the beer, but usually 60 minutes. Right. Um, then when that 60 minutes is done, yeah. um, everything goes back through the underback again and through the heat exchanger. Right. Um, so the hot, uh, the liquid at this point we refer to as wort. Yeah. Um, so the wort goes through the heat exchanger at 100 degrees. Mm -hmm. So in the back here and out here mm -hmm. at about 20 degrees. Oh, I see. So we get the temperature down that low because this tank here is the cold liquor tank. Right. So we have a full 1,200 liters of chilled liquor that we run through the heat exchanger. Um, the hot or the cold liquor that comes out has now absorbed all that heat and filters back in to our hot liquor tank. Right. So we recycle the water, but also that heat. We save all that electricity that we've generated during the boil. Yeah. Um, and it's insulated, so if we brew the next day, we're only having to heat the water 20 degrees or so. Oh, amazing, right, I see. Um, and then out of the heat exchanger, we go into one of our fermentation tanks, yeah. and that's where we add the yeast. Right. And um, the saying is, brewers make worts, and yeast make the beer. Yes, okay. So the, yes, the yeast do yeah. all the, the hard work. And these yeasts are, um, you buy them in, presumably, you're, yeah. not, you're not growing your own. This is um, a standard yeast of, of brewing yeast, or do you have all kinds of different kinds? We use brewing yeast, but we have many different strains that we right. use. Um, eventually, we would like to um, 
reuse our yeast, uh, recycle it. Um, but we just don't have the facilities yet. No, fair enough. Yes. No, well, 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 I can understand that. Um, Absolutely. But so. yeah, we're right now we're using f uh, three different ale yeast strains. Right. Okay. Um, how long does the fermentation process take? Um, three to five days. Right. Okay. Um, depending on how strong the beer is. The stronger the beer, the more there is to ferment. Yes, but, but, yeah, right. Yeah. Because your alcohol level is controlled by the length of fermentation itself. Well, the length of fermentation, but also depending on how, uh, how much starch, how much of uh, the sugars we put into the tank right. from the mash, right, okay. from the brew. And that's, uh, the, um, the amount of sugar in it is controlled by the length of time you've actually put it, uh, been sitting in the mash. Is that right? The length, but then also the quantity of the grain. Uh, I see. Yes. So the grain... Uh, is where we get the, the starch yes. from. Yeah. So the more grain you use, the higher the alcohol. I see. Fascinating process. Well, it's clearly something that, um, that you know, you've taken us through the basic process. Now the, we, yeah. we understand how it works. The five-minute tour. And I'm rather excited by the idea that this tank is full of uh, delicious beer that is going to be drinkable in just a few days' time. Well, this is going to be... I mean, we could have a sip of this if you want. Oh, well, that would be fun. Yes, it can would. We, can we do that? Yes, we can. Um, that. But this uh, fermentation is pretty much complete. I still need to check it right, today okay. yeah. um, to make sure. But yesterday we were very, very close. So this yeah. tank then, um, I'm going to set the cooler and we're going to cool it down mm -hmm. to about five degrees and I'm going to add in my dry hops. Right. I and see. then the beer is going to sit, because at this point now it's beer. Yeah. Um, we're going to let it, the beer sit on the dry hops uh, till early next week. Right. And then we'll put it into kegs and bottles. Yes, I see. So you're brewing, how, how often do you expect to be brewing? I mean, not on, um, this process takes a while. You've got one tank here that's going to be full for several days. So you're brewing once a week? Uh, twice, a week. twice a week. Twice a week. Twice a week, because realistically yeah. we can get the beer in and out of the tank in seven to ten days. Yes, I see. Yes, um, I see. And then, we, so this is tank one. Tank two is twice the size, so we can brew back to back. Oh, and right, put okay. two batches into that tank. Yes, I'm with you. Okay. Now, Matt has very kindly gone off and got some glasses here, so I think it's very beautiful looking glasses to boot. This is a wonderful thing about all drink makers, is that they have a little tap. Yes. That no one can <laughs> <Well>, <laughs> it's wonderful. The perks of the job. Yeah, I think it's very absolutely essential. So, uh, the beer, when it comes out, is going to be um, extremely cloudy because it's still full of yeast. Yeah. Um, but it's got a little bit of carbonation, which is nice. Yeah. Um, that is wonderful. The smell what? is what? just magnificent. I didn't get you, did I? No, no, don't, anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't mind if I go home smelling a beer, it's no problem yes. for me. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, That's an absolutely wonderful smell. Thank you. And there's, it's, I mean, this is a, the, the incredible thing about brewing is that when it's done by an expert, it's wonderful at almost every stage. Whereas if it's done by a, a, some, a sort of hopeless amateur like me, it somehow always smells disgusting. Yeah. But, but that is just wonderful. Mm, I say. This is amazing. So once you've put it in a keg, yes. uh, that will then last a while, presumably, will it? Yes. So um, the keg life is about nine months. No, oh, yes, okay. Yeah. So that, that's so, good. Are the kegs under pressure? Is that, is that the form or they? They are, but we're, we're using um, a new type of keg. It's called a key keg. Right. Um, and so the beer goes into um, a bag and the uh, carbon dioxide, the CO2 that we're using, yeah. doesn't ever come in contact with the beer. I see. So we have um, a secondary fermentation, just like you would in a cask ale. Yeah in the keg, right. um, we're just using CO2 to squeeze the bag. That's very clever. So the CO2 is round the outside of the bag right. and never, never touches the bag um, itself. So it's clever. technically, unless you're a very purist, which most people are, and that's yeah, fantastic, it's, really, yeah. it's still a real ale yeah, yeah. Um, because it doesn't come in contact with the CO2. We still do use gas to help it out. Yeah. Um, I, can, I, I, I get the picture. That yes. it, gives, it gives you a, a much less of a danger of wastage and, and, uh, and, a, and, a great, and a great opportunity to keep your beer as fresh and as clean as possible. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Thank you. Well, Matt, I think you ought to have a little taste of this. <laughs> At the very least, you ought to have a taste of this. I think that's Cheers. absolutely fantastic. Um, 
Thank you, gentlemen, very much. I mean, this is absolutely gripping. I'm going to go and sit at your bar now, and uh, and I'm going to have another little drop of this. Yes, and we'll, you can, you we'll can have the, the before and then... And the before, the before and after. Yes. Let's go and do that very thing. Yes. Right, well, it's wonderful to be leaning up against your bar. Matt, I think you're, you're largely responsible for this bar, are you not? Is that yeah, right? this was one of, my, one of my first big projects, was trying to... Um, trying to kind of put this together and I mean it the looks girls amazingly <laughs> professional and, and, and yet you've, <laughs> presum here, and you've presumably done it on a fairly low budget so I'm very yeah so it's actually it's, it's great we've um uh, it's all or most of it's made out of kind of recycled wood so the, all of the the top is all um scaffolding boards that we scavenged from uh, some builders that we had in to do some put some drainage in yeah. and they uh, they gave us some of their old scaffolding boards they didn't need anymore um, and then the front down in the down there is is one big uh, pallet that we've stained and so it's all sort of um built up around that so. but it looks absolutely wonderful and it gives an amazing atmosphere to this tap room uh, i mean it really is um, I, what I would love to do is just to taste a little drop of what of the finished version of what I've just tried, if I may. This is entirely self-indulgent, you understand, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, look at that, beautiful. This is all you homemade too, is it? Did you build this? Do you build this? We actually um, we bought second hand from a uh, from a bar down in uh, where was it Bournemouth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but um, so we got in touch with them. They're rather much. Yes, that's brilliant. I mean, it's what it's, it looks it's fantastic. And you've got this huge range of taps, but presumably, I mean, how many of them are operating at the moment? Five. Four or five. Four or five of them. Well, I'm going to drink a toast to you all. I wish you the very, very best of luck with this project. I think it's absolutely fantastic. And there are going to be so many people who are going to be grateful to you for the rest of their lives. I think it's fantastic. Cheers. Cheers to you all. Very nice to see you. Mm. That's delicious. <laughs> oh, I'm going to sit here for hours. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much Thank indeed. You so much. Nice Thanks. to see you.